Hello Capricorn, I hope you're well in today's reading we'll be looking at however you're thinking about for January. Yeah, we'll lay out the spread and then we'll clarify with another deck here. This person's stance when it comes to you, Capricorn. Seven of Wands. i move this down here. How will this person be viewing Capricorn? How will this person be feeling about Capricorn? Wow, all reversal so far. What is this person's intentions? What action will they be taking? Hmm. How will Capricorn feel? And what is the potential outcome for Capricorn? Oh, I like that. What is the potential outcome for the person Capricorn's mind? <laughs> That's funny. I see your energy very heavy. Or is this person's you know, more more so healing and moving on and then I see a, a switch here in the outcome. It's almost like someone's getting their karma here. This person's stance when it comes to seven of wands in reverse. This is someone who's not fighting for your connection. I, they're not putting much effort into this. I don't even, I, I don't think they're communicating. So giving up energy, why seven of wands in reverse here? of pentacles three of wands yeah they've turned their back and they're looking for something new here something new stable manifesting happiness stability they have their back turned here capricorn and they're focused on new how they're viewing you five of cups magician in reverse that you're also not going out of your way to make things happen you're healing and you're moving on why is magician in reverse Ace of Swords, that you're not communicating. Seven of Pentacles. At one point, I think you were waiting on communication, waiting to hear from them. And now you're... You're not wanting to be a part of any unstable situations. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You're ready to move forward. There is a fallout here. Lovers in reverse. Ten of Swords. Yeah, betrayal and ending. They feel, Capricorn, that you're waiting for them to reach out. But you won't be the one making the first move. You're waiting for them is how they're seeing you. How they're feeling or will be feeling. Three of Swords, Chariot in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. Who is this? Well, if they have a wife or a husband, that is who they're sticking with here. Uh, I want one more. Why is Three of Swords in reverse here? How this person will be feeling about Capricorn. Seven of Wands. Knight of Cups. This person's... Why is Chariot in reverse? Emotionally manipulative. This person's playing games. Some of them, they're, yeah, they're intentionally avoiding you. You're also not communicating. And as a result, nothing's happening here. You're both holding back. If this person has a significant other, I don't see them letting go of that situation. And if you're that you know, you're the significant other, then yes, there is challenges, there's arguments, but I don't see this person moving on. If they're completely single, you both are, you're, this person is not ready for a full-blown commitment. They're not ready to take responsibility. 
long-term relationship. They're not there yet. And it has something to do with them growing up, their home, their childhood. They're not... This is someone who feels like they're not the most stable or secure right now. So if they're completely single, yeah. I don't see that they're ready for anything committed. Their intentions, Ten of Swords, Hierophant. This is someone who's non-committal. And some of you, this is coming through as a divorce, a separation. Their intentions. Why is Ten of Swords here for this person's intentions towards Capricorn? It's a little bit more, one of the more confusing greetings. Knight of Swords. There may have been um, some harsh words exchanged here. Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles, and yeah, this is a separation. Very much in their head, overthinking. Will this person communicate? I'm a little bit confused here. Why is, why is Nine of Pentacles in reverse, please? Clarify the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. We'll figure this out, Capricorn. Yeah. Yeah, they'll definitely take action. Two action cards come through back to back. They're very physically attracted to you. But be careful that this, this person, you know what? I don't see the most committed energy. They're bringing passion towards you. That is all they want. And some of you, that is all they can offer because they're already involved. They're not single. Is there a potential for long-term? Is there a potential for long-term here if you're not committed to them? Is there a potential for long-term? Ten of Cups? Page of Wands, yes. Wow. Okay. If they're not, if they're completely single and you're single and this person, you're, it's someone you're getting to know, Right now, they're bringing more passion towards you. But yes, there is Ten of Cups is a definite yes. But right now, it seems to be at that stage where you're getting to know each other. There's a lot of back and forth banter, you know, that flirty energy, a lot of chemistry between the both of you. Some of you, the reason things are moving very slowly um, here in the past, maybe one of you are coming out of a separation, a divorce or something. Your past is coming through as a blockage if it's someone new. So there's a few storylines coming through. Some of you, they're not single. All they can offer you is passion. Others of you, they're completely single. You're single. They maybe have recently ended something, or you have, and they're ready. Ready to get to know you, move towards you. They will be the one taking action. King of Wands is normally the pursuer. So yeah, they have their eye on you here, Capricorn. How you'll be feeling, Hermit in Reverse, Nine of Swords Upright. There's some insecurities um, coming through in your energy. And you're both stressed out about this situation. But you, if there's been isolation, no contact, you're wanting to see this person again. You miss them. Why is Hermit in Reverse for how Capricorn will be feeling? happening here there's a lot going on it's all over the place this reading hermit seven of cups yeah because you don't want to you don't want anyone else this is the person you want you're stuck on them they're stuck on you why is nine of swords here it's a very specific reading it's talking about you missing someone and you're not keeping your options open because you want this person they want you to. They're very passionate. Why is Nine of Swords? They're very passionate when it comes to you. Why is Nine of Swords here? Page of Cups, but this person's, they're not. 
It's like this is all they're bringing right now, pages, page of wands. But when it comes to emotions, they're not quite there. They're not expressing much. Some of you just feel like this person's stringing you along. They're playing with you. They run hot and cold. They're inconsistent, and that is causing you anxiety. But yeah, you're having a hard time letting this go. Death in reverse. Despite the anxiety this brings, the headaches, the sleepless nights, you're still having a hard time letting go because you're invested. You want to give to the situation. There's a loyalty, dedication coming from you. But I'm not sure. Your outcome, we have three of cups in a reverse world. It's talking about a completion of a cycle here. And what you're putting, what you're leaving behind is the three of cups in reverse. A fallout, a separation, disagreements. Some of you, third party, is what you're putting an end to. Why is three of cups in reverse here for Capricorn's outcome? Eight of swords, yeah, because it was leaving you feeling stuck. There was no way out. Overanalyzing, overthinking. Very anxious, not knowing what is going on. You are in the dark, but you're letting go of that energy, which is beautiful. You're feeling more lighthearted. Like a weight's been lifted off of you. That is how you're feeling here in the outcome. Why is the world here? Fool, a new chapter, new beginning. Wow. Two major arcana. It's a new cycle beginning for you here, Capricorn, in your outcome. It's very free spirited. See, fool travels lately, right? Fool doesn't carry baggage. Some of you are leaving an Aquarius behind. Someone who is very cold, detached, emotionally unavailable. Whereas you were giving your all, Queen of Cups. But this person was draining you. It's almost like an energy vampire. You were very sweet, kind, but this person was... They didn't treat you right, is what I'm seeing. There's a new chapter here in regards where you're going, I'm not sure. Wise world, five of swords, three of cups. Some of you are dating, right? And you're having a lot of fun getting to know new people. This person's outcome, this is so funny. You know why it's funny? Because I just showed you the Nine of Cups and Queen of Cups, right? And this is a completely different deck. They're going through exactly what they put you through. Emotionally drained. And they have love for you now. Now that you're letting go, you're moving on, you're detaching, they're clinging. There's some codependency here. Why is Nine of Cups in reverse for the person on Capricorn's mind? Some of you could have been dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but we also have fire and air come through. Three of Wands, six of Pentacles. Why is Queen of Cups? It's like grass is greener on the other side mentality. This person's not, it's the same cards wanting to come through. They're in a very stuck energy in their outcome. If they were giving to more multiple people, they still are, but that void is still there, right? This person, why is Queen of Cups? If they're already involved, they're not happy in that connection. Yeah, they're watching you. They're watching you move on, be happy, Ten of Cups. And they're saying, I wonder if we could work on things. They're fantasizing about you here, of what could be. And they do watch you if they have any means to do so. What are you doing? Where are you going? Who are you talking to? Nine of Swords. They're going through exactly what they put you through. Having a hard time letting you go. Thoughts of you. Memories. Sleepless nights. They think about you at a, lo a lot. Maybe even dream about you. Someone's getting their karma bad here. Did you see how all the cards that were heavy coming through in your energy are in their outcome? So they're going through exactly what they put you through. Let's get you some oracle cards. Uh, 
I'm trying to imagine us together. Did Wasn't I just saying they fantasize daydream? This person's thinking about you, imagining what it would be like living with you, happy home. Some of you, they're committed and they're dreaming about you. This person's very codependent. They may not appear as if they are with the King of Swords because of how detached, cold that energy can be, right? But they are codependent. Your family may not approve of me. Well, maybe your family, friends were advising you against, um, you know, this person, or they feel that there's something about your background. I would like to get a drink with you. Yeah, they were taking action. So they will be wanting to get uh, get to know you, um, take you out for a date or drinks or something. I definitely saw action coming from them. Will you take care of me? That's that needy energy. They want you physically. Nine of cups, but they're coming from an empty, empty space. They're drained. They want to sip out of your cup here. So they can have the Ten of Cups. And the Queen of Cups was offering the cup. Be careful not to get... I'm not taking that out. Sweeped up, right, by their charm. Because King of Wands can be definitely, extremely um, desirable, charming, persuasive. The chaser. Wasn't I saying this is usually the persuasive one? Persuasive one. The pursuer chaser but there something about low self-esteem here coming through in their energy so they may get involved in some messy situations to fill some sort of void they may even be having money problems we have money problems not enough money careful about expenditure and that may be their focus right ace of pentacles Wow, we have a vacation coming through, adventure, getaway, travel, break, time off. This feeling comfortable, letting go of what was. We have the picnic. She's by the beach. We have her pineapple fruit. Vacation. You're planning. The person's ending the reading. Well, if you're post, if you're posting pictures about your vacations, um, they're looking at them, or perhaps in the past you have some pictures where you were traveling and they watch you. We have curious about you, not over you, checking social media. Page of Swords. Don't you like it? Don't you love when it confirms what we were getting with Tarot? Yeah, why are they watching you? Because you're beautiful. We have beauty. Intimidated by your beauty. Your beauty stands out. Physical attraction. King of Wands, Ace of Wands. I'm not sure, I apologize for the sound Capricorn, I'm not sure there's any grand gesture coming from this person. I feel iffy. Although I asked what action, we have King of Wands, Ace of Wands, right? Wands signify action. So there is movement, but something... I don't know though, Capricorn, I can't guarantee this. Because I have to listen to how I'm feeling. I'll say 50-50, right? Some of you, yes, definitely. This person's rushing in. There's solid action. Others of you, it may be just a like on a post or something. I see more sexually fantasizing about you than really much um, movement here, really. If I look at the outcome. not taking that I don't I just want one more for you Capri point that's two no just one gossip gossiping about you worried others will talk heard rumors about you so people may be talking about you this person maybe i don't really have strong indications of that but definitely if they hear your name they will be listening the ears are perked up here 
but worried others will talk nine of swords there may be if this is something you know toxic taboo off limits then they are worried about what other people will say some of you they were wanting a secret affair with you What advice do you have for Capricorn? Again, travel, vacation, travel, self-love, take a vacation from your love life, travel, go shopping, have a girl's night out, leave your worries behind and choose to do what makes you happy. Yeah, isn't that what you're doing? You're leaving your worries behind, eight of swords, nine of swords, and you're living a little. We love this for you, Capricorn, you deserve it. Go all out, have fun. What advice do you have for Capricorn? Some of you, I was seeing the Three of Cups, I was saying you were dating and you're exploring what's out there and you're having a lot of fun. Um, that Three of Cups can also be friends, right? Getting together with friends and we had a girls night out or guys, guys night out, boys night out, doesn't matter. We have learned the lesson, world, and you're saying I have learned the lesson. Learn the lesson from your breakup, even though it may seem darn near impossible to find a silver lining, give yourself time and dig deep. Yeah, you learned what you needed to from this situation. You're getting out of bed, you're getting out of your house. Some of you were in hermit mode and you're ready to put yourself back out there and you're taking better care of yourself. We have her with the facial, right? insights into the issues that are playing on your mind eight of swords nine of swords there's a lot going on here a lot of overthinking and you may be getting some guidance here through your dreams sexuality and the star it's talking about self-love and reaching for the stars we have shoot for the stars don't you dare settle for fine set your sights higher you deserve better and that is what you're realizing here lessons again learn the lesson and lessons and celebrate you've come a long way you've made progress you need to appreciate what you already have you've come a long way <laughs> illuminate People are drawn to your radiant energy and who you are. The spotlight is shining your way as you reach the top. There's something major here, especially when this came through. Some sort of graduation celebration. Something you've been striving for, towards. There's a wish fulfillment here, if we look at this. Look at that. Celebrate, illuminate, and the star. Don't settle. There's something beautiful up ahead. A lot of you, this is when it comes to your love life. But yes, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I'll see you uh, hopefully next week. Bye.